overflows. Love blossoms beyond form. So far, man has only known love as bondage and for happiness, dependence on the other is the only way of love he knows. And for happiness, dependence on the other is the only way of love that he knows. <clears throat> but love brought down power of eternity. Love brought down power of eternity, power of the unknown and unknowable to make of life his undying base, to make life his undying base on the dumb bosom of this oblivious globe, on the dumb bosom of this oblivious globe, although as unknown beings we seem to meet, our lives are not aliens nor as strangers join. Although as unknown beings we seem to meet, our lives are not aliens nor as strangers join. Move to each other by a causeless force. Move to each other by a causeless force. The soul recognizes its answering soul. The soul recognizes its answering soul. This always happens. This is your realization that soul recognizes the answering soul. Across dividing time and life's roads, absorbed, wrapped traveler, turning it recovers familiar splendors in an unknown face. Across dividing time and on life's roads, absorbed, Wrapped traveler, turning it recovers familiar splendors in unknown face. It always happens. It happened to you also. The only thing it happens, the only thing is you realize it, you recognize it, and you allow it to blossom. Absorbed, wrapped traveler, turning it recovers familiar splendors in an unknown face and touched by the warning fingers of swift love. And touched by the warning fingers of swift love, it trills again to an immortal joy. It trills again to an immortal joy. Wearing a mortal body for delight, wearing a mortal body for delight, there is power within that knows beyond our knowings. Always it happens so. But we ignore that power within that knows beyond our knowings. Wearing a mortal body for delight, there is a power that knows beyond our knowings. We are greater than our thoughts, but we consider thoughts greater than us. And sometimes earth unveils that vision here. And sometimes earth unveils that vision here to live, to love are signs of infinite things. Love is a glory from eternity's spheres. Love is a glory from eternity's spheres, abased, disfigured, mocked by baser mites. Love is a glory from eternity's spheres, abased, disfigured, and mocked by baser might, that is steel, that is steel is name, shape, and ecstasy. He is still the Godhead by which all can change. Love is, is still dwells in us, blossoms into us as the Godhead, as the presence of godliness which can change, which can change and a mystery wakes in our conscient being. A bliss is born that can remake our lives. A bliss is born then that can remake our lives. Love dwells in us like an unopened flower. 
love dwells in us like an unopened flower awaiting a rapid moment of the soul awaiting a rapid moment of the soul and awaits or he roams in his charmed sleep and thoughts and things the child god is at play love is the child god the fetus that is at its play he seeks himself in many hearts and minds and living forms in many hearts and minds and living forms he lingers for a sign that he can do awaits for a sign that it can do and when it comes wakes blindly to a voice a voice that lingers in our ears like a dissolving notes of a far away enchanting melody love is freedom love is transcendence also as verb love leads to freedom and transcendence love leads to freedom and transcendence love can never be a bondage the bondage is because of because it has been abased disfigured and mocked by the base of might who know not love who is steal its name and form and shape love is the taste of your being soaring into your inner vast sky like space or dissolving in the ocean of the being and living and rejoicing and living and rejoicing your nectrine in the essence and presence each moment and living and rejoicing your nectrine in her presence and essence each moment first this happens and then the outer world and then in the outer world it can happen and in the outer world it can happen the moment you envision the formless through the form not before this is why this is what i am leading you in myriad ways so that you can see the formless nature formless existence that dwells in you that you see through the form the moment you have seen that oneness that all pulsating consciousness the energy field the light behind each form that moment devotion attains fruition that very moment devotion attains fruition and until that realization does not happen neither love nor trust is born in you the moment you are able to see the all pulsating oneness the moment you are able to see and realize the invisible presence behind the form you are able to see the invisible hands behind the creation the moment you are able to see the unmanifest creator unmanifest creator through the form and shape trust is not born in you and trust is the beginning of devotion devotion is the way that it can take you to the deepest core of your being where you can realize your essence as love the moment you can see behind each form the formless 
the creator is not hidden somewhere creator is embedded is part of the creation behind the creation there are invisible unmanifest hands works of the creator creator is unmanifest creation and creation is manifest creator is not that god is hidden somewhere somewhere sitting somewhere god is hidden behind the trees behind the greens of the trees behind the flight of the birds behind the snow capped mountains but we get lost in the form in the shape in the color we see the tree but not the life force flowing within the tree we see the birds flying and soaring high in the sky and we rejoice that but we are not able to see the soul that is soaring to infinite height behind hidden behind the form of the birds we see men and women but we do not see the life force flowing life force flowing behind the form that keeps the form alive that excel the moment we are able to see that conscious being that life force floating flowing behind every form and shape devotion hasn't the journey of devotion hasn't yet begun no father no mother no brother no sister no master no disciple in each form that become that mirrors each form and shape that mirrors the invisible unmanifest creator each form each shape manifest the unmanifest creator behind everything soul dies soul does not die bodies change form it changes form through myriad bodies but the the heartbeat of this body goes hiding in another body body changes form changes that unmanifest creator hidden in this form goes into the other form the moment you are able to envision this you will start seeing something realizing something blossoming within you attaining waiting to attain the fulfillment waiting to attain to fruition love bridges life and light life comes to you at the birth to attain to light but life cannot attain to its fruition as light unless love bridges this form and formless the darkness and light the known and unknown love bridges the two shores that life is love bridges the two shores the life and death the light and life the known and unknown the being and non being 